Hello. Oh, gotta get this set up. Wait. I'm balancing it on a Kleenex box, so we're gonna have to get creative here. There we go. Trigonometry all over again. Ha! Hands free. Look at that. Boom shakalaka. Hey guys! I hope you're doing well. I hope you're having a spooktacular Halloween. I know I am. I'm spending it with some of my favorite people here on the set. Um, wow, you guys are, there's a lot of you already. This is awesome. Welcome to my trailer. This is where I spend my time when I'm not on set. Sometimes. I don't like to sit in here very long because it's I'd rather be with, with everyone else. Um, so I thought, because we're doing a lot of puns today, I thought I'd start this off with a joke. Um, this is one of my favorite Halloween jokes. So, what do you call a haunted chicken? Because, you know, haunted chickens are really common, right? So, haunted chicken, what do you call it? A poultry geist. <laughs> sorry, that's a silly joke. Pun, uh, pun junkie. Anyway. So, uh, season three is coming in April. I'm very excited to share it with you guys. Do you guys have any questions? Do you guys have any thing coming up that you want to talk to me about? Let's talk. Am I, uh, you know, I have to say, I have to give you guys a big compliment. I'm loving seeing all of your Shadowhunters based Halloween costumes. I think it's amazing. Your creativity is incredible. And, uh, it's, it's so fun to see your take on all of these characters that we get to see every day. Hannah says, what is my favorite part of being Clary? Um, I think my favorite part of being Clary is the fact that I've been able to grow with this character and, and be a part of this story and, and such a great character that continues to develop. So I always have something new to work on and work toward. Woo! There's so many questions, I can't even keep up with you guys. You can hold it on. Uh, let's see. All of the questions. Listening to War of Hearts right now. Yes, do it. Favorite episode I've filmed so far. Ooh. For this season? Mm. They've all been really fun, actually, and really different. Um, I can't pick a favorite. And that's why that's why I haven't been posting a lot of behind-the-scenes stuff from the show, is because all of it's pretty much spoilers right now. Uh, what would Clary be for Halloween? Hmm. I think Clary would be a stormtrooper or like an Ewok or something Star Warsy with Simon because that's, you know, that's what they would do. <laughs> and they would just tell Jace that a stormtrooper is like a special shadow hunter or something and he'd join. What made the Seely Court scene complicated to film? Uh, it, I think the most complicated thing is our set, the way that they shoot it, they rotate. Um, they keep rotating the set 90 degrees because where it is in our studio, they only, they can only have three sides. That's all they have space for. So uh, every time we come back and do another angle, they have to turn the set 90 degrees. So that means all of our blocking has to turn 90 degrees. It's fun. Do things with Clary and Jace get better? Um, define better. They're, mm, what can I say? Um, yes and no. For a time, perhaps, in a way? I really, I can't answer that question without spoilers. I'm so sorry. Oh, my favorite Halloween costume I've ever worn? Oh, that's tough. Last year was... Hey, guys! I'm back. I'm ready to Facebook Live with you guys. Oh, that's a bracelet. Um, so what's going on? Thank you guys so much for coming back. I really appreciate it. Let's start this off with a joke, shall we? Let me see. We have so many jokes. Uh, here's another one of my favorites. So, what do you get when you divide the diameter of a jack lantern by its circumference? Anybody? Pumpkin pie! Sorry, I'm such a math nerd. <laughs> anyway, I uh, hope you guys have had a great rest of your Halloween. We've been shooting away, making Shadowhunter Season 3 for you guys. Can't wait for you guys to see it. We were going through questions. Um, oh, tips for getting through exams. So that's actually a really good question, because I love school, and um, exams were one of my favorite things, actually. Because if you get some good sleep beforehand, make sure you study, make sure you know your information, and make sure you're comfortable with it. Um, and then you can wake up the next day, eat a good breakfast, and rock it out. 
uh, more of Clary's power. You do see uh, Clary start to explore her angelic abilities more in season three, and uh, in in old ways and new. That's all I could say. <laughs> Oh my goodness, there's people from all over the world. This is amazing. I know, I can't wait for season three either, but it's going to be April. Let's see, what other questions do you guys have? So what are you guys dressing up as for Halloween? That's what I want to know. People who are celebrating Halloween, who are about to go trick-or-treat or celebrate in other ways tonight, talk to me. Ooh, favorite bad guy or monster so far? I mean, y'all know that Sebastian's my favorite character from the books, so that's, that, but Val Alan Van Sprang absolutely killed it as Valentine, and Will absolutely has, has killed it as Sebastian, so, um, I'm excited, I'm excited, that's, that's probably a tie between the two of them. More of Clary's artistic side. Yeah, we actually do see that. Clary goes back to her roots and goes back to drawing a bit more because after all the craziness of everything that happened, she needs something to ground her. Something that's um, outside of the shadow world. What do I think of season three? I think it's it's the next step for our show, for sure. It's um, new and different, but it's it, it shows the growth of our show and the growth of these characters. But it also... Um, there's more sort of horror and and uh, kind of more gruesome elements to the show. I'm I'm really excited for you guys to see it all. My favorite episode from Two B, probably eighteen through twenty were my favorites, just because everything culminated in in everything that we've been building so far, and um, some of my absolute favorite scenes were in those episodes. I am a baker. Mostly I bake um, recipes. Well, I learned to bake with recipes that were passed down from my great-grandmothers and, and further beyond back in my family. Um, so, you know, a variety of cookies and cakes and such. But I've been getting really into Pinterest lately and seeing what, uh, what I can find on there because it's fun to experiment as well. You want to be Black Widow for Halloween? You be Black Widow for Halloween. see. Making Halloween pasta. Oh, Halloween pasta sounds great. Love that. And if you've got a onesie, that's the greatest thing in the world. I nearly wore a onesie to work today. <laughs> I bet you guys can guess what my onesie is. Um, oh, cool. Wow. Vampire and a cat. That's awesome. Favorite song at the moment. Uh, there's a song called A Thousand Nights by a band called Friendship. And then, what's the other song I've been listening to lately? I have to look it up because it's going to bother me if I don't figure this out. Um, oh, it's a song called... Uh, oh, it's, it's Pink's new song. It's called Revenge. It's fun. I just love Pink and I'm glad she's coming out with new music. Her song, um, What About Us, is so beautiful. If I could create a rune, I think I need a, a like, closet cleaning rune, because that's the one thing I can never seem to keep up with. Aw, oh, Cabinet of Souls! So much fun! I'm glad you guys watched that. Does Claire get to visit Alicante in the upcoming season? Hmm. Can I like, confirm, no deny? Let's see. Would I ever get... I actually have two of the runes tattooed. Um, I got one uh, after the first season, and then I've decided that I think I'm getting one for every season. So I have two at this point, and we'll see where it goes from there. I am in Maze Runner 3. That comes out next year. I wore cat ears earlier. They're uh, somewhere on set. I don't know where they are. I think they've gotten lost. I think the thing I love most about playing Clary is her growth and the fact that she came from being this girl who was an artist who thought she knew what she was and who she was and what she wanted and then when she's thrown into a new world she she makes mistakes, she falls down, she 
gets to she hits rock bottom and yet again and again she claws her way back up um and you continue to see that but she grows overall as well and you see that a lot this season like it's onesie party i want to come i love onesie parties um, my fave episode so far this season. Every single episode that we've shot for, uh, you're Maris Lightwood, that's awesome! So every single episode we've shot this far has been so different and has explored a different part of the characters, a different relationship between characters. Lately I've gotten to work with a lot of people that I don't normally work with and that I haven't gotten to work with in a long time and it's been so fun. I mean, I love the people that I normally work with, but it's nice to it's nice to switch it up because I miss I miss the rest of the family, you know, because I don't get to see them if I'm not working with them. Yeah, I think there's a lot that I mean, I certainly relate to Clary on a lot of levels, but I think there's something in Clary that's universally relatable, and that's the fact that she's constantly trying to find her place and she's constantly trying to find who she is and what she can contribute to the world. But beyond that, she constantly falls back down and constantly gets back up again and that's the important thing is that it's not about how many times you make mistakes it's not about how many times you fall down it's about when you get back up and how many times you get back up as long as you get back up one more time then you fall down you'll be good you'll be fine I didn't always want to be an actor I wanted to go into finance initially I didn't know um, that acting was a thing that people could do until I I fell backwards into a, a community theater show for a family friend and absolutely fell in love with it and I've never looked back. There are lots of, I don't know if they're cute, but there are lots of Alec and Clary bro TP moments. Um, there's lots of Alec and Clary, let me put it that way. I mean, you know Alec and Clary, they don't necessarily get along. part of the shadow world what I want to be a part of. I think I'd want to be a warlock. I just think they're so fascinating and the fact that they're they're I think they're the most individualized members of the shadow world because of their marks and and their powers exhibit themselves in different ways. Um and they're the ones that try and help people, or at least some of them, the good ones do. My favorite thing to do in my downtime on set? Well, I've been a part of Alberto's book club, so that's one of my favorite things to do. But I also knit. You guys know, I'm a grandma. I love knitting on set. We are planning a werewolf night. It may not be till the second half of the season when we're all kind of settled, but who knows? It could happen. You never know. We've got other games that we want to play now, too, so here we go. Um... This show and this character, it, it is challenging, but in a good way, in a way that I thrive on, and in a way that I am continually excited about to come to work every day. Because every episode presents a new challenge or a new something to learn or something I've never done before. And that's that's why being on the show has been such a learning experience and has, has given me so much growth, has given the character so much growth, and um, will continue to do so. Oh, so many good questions. My favorite Halloween costume? I would have to say that I would... I think my favorite was... I was a duck one year for Halloween. That was really fun. I made my own costume. <laughs> it was great. I'd love to do a song with Alberto. Why not? Oh, something I wanted to tell you guys. I uh, I love all of your Fray Friday posts. I think they're incredible. Every week I look forward to seeing all the things that you guys bring out and the qualities that you talk about in the character and the fan art and all of these things. Uh, and I have a, a little surprise that I'm planning to do on Fridays now. So I hope you guys enjoy it and keep an eye out for it. Uh-oh. I do believe that that is the... Hold on one second, guys. I'm gonna I'm going to take you with me. They're knocking on my door. Is it time? Okay. Well, you guys, uh, do I have to? I have to end it probably because they need me, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, thank you guys so much for doing this. I really, really appreciate it. Um, 
I'm so glad we had time to chat a bit more. If we have more time later, I may pop back on, depending if I have a long enough break. I may not. But it's been so lovely to talk to you guys. I love answering your questions, and I will chat with you live again very soon. Bye, you guys. Stay tuned for the takeover. It's not over yet.